Hey everyone, welcome back to another Witcher, which could possibly, I think is possibly, the final episode of Witcher 2, Assassins of Kings. As you can see, I'm also sucking a sweet. I've got sinus, crazy sinus drip today, so I'm kind of just trying to combat that in between everything with the rain and all that today. So, yeah, I'm going to head in. I left off. Jorvis and Geralt were on their way to go speak to Letho to see what he has to say uh, as he's sitting and waiting for our Witcher. And he's got Triss in hand. So let's pop on in and see what all this man has to say. I was about to say, is this how I say things? <clears throat> Mushrooms. Everyone really went to town. With pillaging and burning and killing. He's a pile of bodies. Is that half a man? Coming out the ground like that. Okay. Right here. Planning a big bonfire here too. Hello, Letho. Hi. He's a big man. Stop, Yorvith. I'm going alone. Why? This is between the two of us. Take care of Triss until I return. Your choice. Mine, indeed. Hmm. There's one more thing you need to know. Nilfgaard's armies have crossed the Yoruga. War is inevitable. Va fail, Gwynblade. Va fail. Don't get killed. Farewell, I will try my best. <laughs> if I don't return within the hour, find Saskia and leave without me. Well, I mean, this man talks for so long. Right? We could yes. be talking well over he an hour. He saved me from the Nilfgaardians. And defended me from the troops. It's time to end this. Yorvith's waiting. I'll catch up with you soon. Geralt. He knows a lot. I know, Triss. That's why we need to talk. Don't get killed, Witcher. I won't. Sure thing. Bye. So we finally get to finish off that of where is Triss Merigold? Geralt had been intent on freeing Triss and tracked her with the immense effort. Immense effort, because I personally wasn't. But in the end, he failed in this task. In truth, the sorceress's kidnapper had freed her in his stead. You should know that Letho, though capable at times of mindless cruelty and often undiscriminating in the means he employed, had no personal quarrel with Marigold. He had abducted her when he needed to, but as the tale of the Assassins of Kings came to a close, he decided he could afford to be generous and freed the sorceress from the Black Ones. Thus, blinded by his obsession of catching Letho, the witcher met her somewhat by chance, safe and unharmed. He immediately told her to stand aside, for at that moment he was interested in only one person. The Kingslayer. Okay, let's go talk to Letho. Hi buddy. How you doing? We never got to buy that upgraded armor. Oh well. It's a pretty diamond you got there. Took you a while. Is that bobble from Sheila's Megascope? Mm-hmm. <laughs> My final prank. Oh. I switched the diamonds. The one in the Megascope has a flaw. Minute. But just large enough to warp the teleport. The Emperor's magic theorists assured me the effect would be spectacular. It I was. I let her escape. You're oh. heartless. <laughs> You've no idea what the royal witch hunters have in store for her. Sorry, so with the amount of times I died fighting Saskia, I kind of played it and see to see which one's gonna win. So every time I died, I try I, I did the alternative. So I would let her die, and then when if I died, I'd let her free, and then if I died, I'd let her die. So I kind of just played like a gamble to see whether she's going to live or die, and. Obviously, we land on the one where she lives. I don't doubt it. So, ready to lay your cards out on the table? No matter the game, 
There comes a point when all the players need to show their cards. Very true. I love that moment. But first... Vodka. Now, that is something Geralt the Witcher will never turn down. I suppose my throat's a little dry. In that case, let's drink to old friendships. Yeah, before we talk shop, let's have a let's have a shot. Or three. Might as well. <sighs> Recovered your memory yet? Not really. Not entirely. Remember <clears throat> how we first met? Yeah. I saved your life. Couldn't think of a nicer way to pay me back? <laughs> Frankly, I couldn't. I mean, taking care of another man's woman, Yennefer. I can't fathom what you saw in her, but I suppose there's no accounting for taste. Ouch. The winter solstice 1270. Middenvern, the night of magic. Letho wasn't lying, the hunt had stopped. At the hanged man's tree, the spectral riders selected from among those they had taken. Yennefer was among them. A wraith cannot be killed, only driven away. Every witcher knows that. Yet the riders fell beneath the blows of our witcher's blades. Crimson blood flowed from under their dead men's armor. We could not kill them all. They were simply too many. A stalemate. He was different from all other elves. There was no shame in his gaze. He had never suffered persecution. He had endured no massacres. Humans had not taken his land. This elf was not of this world. He was an invader. We struck a deal. My soul for that of Yennefer. He agreed without hesitation. Back with me, friend. <laughs> Got the feeling you left for a minute. Just a little tiny one. I remember the hanged man's tree and the wild hunt. I remember the exchange. Me for Yennefer. So, cards out on the table. Unless you chase me all that way just to kill me. Yeah, let's first have a chat. Kind of get all the information we can from him. Just, you know, for everyone that is curious to know everything he has to say. There's some of... You that would like to see it, I know, and some that just want to get to business, but... I chased you for lots of reasons. You owe me some explanations hmm. We need to some questions with. answered. Let's say I do. Right. Told you there's going to be a lot. I don't know why my mouse is... Right. Let's see, Yennefer, tell me what happened to her, the riders of the hunt, you know who they are, why did you become an Imperial spy, why did you wait for me, what was this all about, was it? So let's start from the, I think just start from the top, because we were just speaking about the wild hunt. So tell me tell what me happened to Yennefer. Yennefer. What happened after I departed? Departed. She was feverish for several days, delirious, in agony. We thought that was it. She was on her way out. Somehow she recovered. And she was disoriented. Amnesia like you. What then? Well, the woman turned out to be quite a character. Throwing temper tantrums. Trying to seduce Ox. Trying to drive a wedge between us. After you so nobly sacrificed yourself, we thought it'd be dumb just to leave her somewhere. She wouldn't have survived more than a month whims and vigor of a duchess, but she was just a sorceress with no memory. We were in the heart of the Empire, and as I'm sure you know, Geralt, in Nilfgaard, mages who behave like that either drop their bad habits quickly, or are drawn and quartered by horses in the middle of Victory Square. So I heard. So we set out, wandered through the provinces. Everywhere we went, she got in trouble and we pulled her out. And then one day they captured us. The Imperial Secret Police. Me, Ox, Sarit, and Yennefer. Imperial Secret Police? Mm-hmm. We were separated and they questioned us. Long and thoroughly. But it was uneventful, no violence. That's how I met Vatia de Rideau. And a couple of weeks later, the Emperor himself, me, 
A simple witcher. What happened to Yennefer? I don't know. Never saw her again. The Emperor offered me a mission in the Northern Kingdoms. As for Yennefer, I had the feeling she was somehow important to Emir. As I see it, they learned of the Lodge from her. Those Imperial spooks have their ways. All I heard is that Vatir had his men watch Yennefer closely throughout the time she was at the palace. Then we went off to slay the kings of the north. That's where my knowledge ends. So she's in the Empire. She was when I left. Okay. <clears throat> and the Riders of the Hunt, you know who they How are? How did you know where we'd find the Wild Hunt? Every Witcher who wears the Viper around his neck knows the place. We had so many books and scrolls about the Hunt that I used to think our school was founded for the very purpose of solving the riddle of the Spectral Riders. Know who they are? You know the true identities of the Riders? From what I understand, they're some damn elven race. But they turned out to be a big ruse. Ruse. Legendary omen of war proved to be a fairground attraction. No Market Square mage could possibly conjure up a cavalcade of wraiths speeding across the sky. Then there's the amnesia. No, there's something more, I assure you. Go ahead, enlighten me. I can tell you want to. There are a lot of legends and myths about it, but the Wild Hunt is a fact. I've fought and killed many of its wraiths. They were spectral emanations, the avatars of real riders. The riders we ran into by the Hanged Man's Tree. Are you telling me you were carried off by elves? Real material sons of bitches like the ordinary kind we deal with in this world? They may be ordinary in their world, but they're strangers in ours. The conjunction of spheres, know the theory. Do you know how monsters appeared in our world? There's not a witcher who doesn't know that. So you know there are other spheres. The most powerful of our mages can open passages between these worlds, and they usually do that to summon the monsters we then have to hunt. The elves we saw come from another world, and they weren't summoned. They found the way on their own. It's not exactly easy, so they usually send their spectral emanations. They come in person on special missions. As they did for you and Yennefer. Mm -hmm. So elves from another world and their trained wraiths. What do they want from you? I've got an idea. But that's not your concern. <laughs> if you will give me a moment, I need to pause. I've just been called into a meeting. So I will stop it here, but I will pick it up again. For you guys, it will be instantaneous. I'll see you guys just now. Okay, and I'm back. Um, for those of you that do want to know, um, it is the following day, night. Um, what was supposed to be a quick client meeting ended up being drinks with the client and then the following day. So yeah, we're back. We are back with Letho. I'm back. For you it was a quick snap, for me it was a whole day and a half. <laughs> um, I think we left it off with, why did you become an Imperial spy? How did a Witcher agree to kill humans at another human's bidding? At the Emperor's bidding, Geralt. And he's no ordinary human. The rulers of the North come up to about where his Polines end. Why? Simple. He promised to rebuild the School of the Viper. The Witcher's order where I came to be. Witcher's schools in the South fell into ruin long ago. And Witchers themselves became internal exiles banned from entering most cities. Besides Seret and Ox, I know of two other witches of the School of the Viper who should be alive and on the path. I don't know where they are. Haven't seen them for years. Now they can come out of hiding. They can come home. Okay, so... Uh, why did you wait for me? Why are you still here? Why did you wait for me this time? I knew you wouldn't give up. I knew you'd pursue me. And I don't aim to hide anymore. Fact is, only you know the truth about me. Well, 
And a couple of folks whose word isn't worth spit anymore. I never saw you as a foe. I want to go my way. But if I have to fight you first, so be it. The story ends here and now. Okay, um, what was it all about? And what Can was tell it me about? what it was all about? Hmm. Kill as many rulers as we could. Lay the blame on the sorceresses. Breed chaos. Prepare the north. Soft net before the invasion. And you know what's incredible? We could not have imagined more fertile soil. No matter what the war's outcome, the northern monarchs will accuse one another. Pursue their God-given rights. Seek vengeance and be at each other's throats for years to come. The north resembles a whorehouse on fire. As your friend Dandelion would say. <laughs> Um, I need to know the whole picture. Uh, yeah, I'm still curious about the assassinations. Do you see what I mean about all the questions? We're here for the long run, people. If you don't like the idle chit chat, then I suppose you might as well skip to the end of the video. <laughs> right, how did you find How did Sheila? you manage to contact Sheila? It wasn't a problem once I learned of the Lodge's existence. Initially, she watched my every move. But sooner or later, everyone starts treating me like a big oaf. I mean, I can't change how I look. I stayed close to Sheila, killed a few beasts for her, and whined about how unhappy I was, how unfair the world was. So much, in fact, that I actually got her gander up a few times. I made sure a few potentially trustworthy witnesses saw us together could link us. Security in case I was captured. Mm. I also prepared to assassinate the King of Kavir. Esterad Tyson was to be the first victim of the mysterious assassins. But before I could do the dirty deed, Sheila asked me to slay Demavend. The gods had smiled upon me. I couldn't believe my luck. Here I've been trying to figure out how to frame Sheila. And now all I needed was to carry out her orders and follow through. Nice. How did you learn about the Lodge? Where did you get your information about the Lodge? From the Emperor and Vatir Durido, the Emperor's chief spy. And I believe they got it out of Yennefer. Do you Yennefer? Nah. No. I'd never claim she informed on her friends consciously. I expect they found a way to tap into her memory in spite of her amnesia, and without her knowing it. There was a sorcerer present when I was questioned. A young, proud intelligence officer. Whatever the case, they gave me a list of the sorceresses in the lodge. Only Emir, Vatir, and I were present. Only we knew of the mission. Fair point. Fair point. I love the music that they've got while we're just standing by having idle chit chat. <laughs> it's like, we must go to battle, but first we talk with battle music. We will battle with words. How did you kill Demavend? How did you manage to slay Demavend? Sheila's magic. I mean, she could give us the king's every move. His habits, the positions of the palace guards, anything. All we had to do was navigate the labyrinth and land the final blow. Besides, she had plenty of gold for the preparations. Greased palms abundantly. It had all the makings of a cakewalk. But it's never that easy. We barely avoided our pursuers. And we wouldn't have if not for Yarveth Skyatel. Another of Sheila's ideas. With Yorveth's elves, not only did we cut down Demavand, but traveling with them put us out of the Lodge's reach. We could calmly plan fall tests and Hensel's assassinations. I love this man's voice actor. I wonder who it is. Why is my mouth so glitchy? I don't know if my the battery's running flat. That's why even with my headphones, I've got the other ones. I forgot to switch them off yesterday, and they ran flat, so... 
and I think my mouse is the same because I also forgot to switch that off. How did you know Foltest would get to the solar? How did you know Foltest would come to the monastery solar? Yorveth and I planned Foltest's murder. Mm -hmm. The king of Temeria would have to deal with the lava man sooner or later, and he made no secret of it. I was sure he'd want to recover his bastard children in the process. And where do they take the children when a castle's under siege? I had to become a monk, or I couldn't just arrive at the monastery and claim I'd seen the light. Not very believable. So one of Arian's patrols out in the forests happened on a Skyatel unit torturing a helpless monk. Arian's brave men drove off the elves and I found shelter in the monastery. No one noticed you had no wounds? I paid the monk who treated me a lot of orange to stay silent. Actually, it was only a loan, because I killed him later. Only the dead can keep a secret. That all is I had very to do true. Was wait for the situation to develop. When I saw you enter the chamber with Faltes, I thought I might fail. Luckily, you failed to recognize an old friend. Yeah, well, I did have, I do have like temporary memory loss, okay? Sorry, I was just busy googling. I wanted to see who's the voice actor. Um, and it says it was Mark Lewis Jones. He actually looks so familiar. I'm sure I've seen him in a movie or two. But he did very well. Um, you wanted to take over Yorveth's unit. What was the idea? When did you decide to get rid of Yorveth? As soon as I realized I couldn't manipulate him. A true fox, that one. Mm -hmm. He was so observant, so dangerous. <laughs> I got the sense he might see way. through me at any moment. You made a mistake. Mm. You were untouchable as long as the Skoyatel were protecting you. Yeah. Maybe, but with Yorveth, my hands were tied. If I'd finished off Kieran. But you didn't. And that allowed me to drive a wedge between you and Yorveth. I forced you to flee. And I let you live. You know I could have killed you. Yep. You're forgetting. No. I just choose not to remember. <laughs> uh, Sheila came to Flotsam looking for so you. So Sheila was looking for you when she came to Flotsam. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. She thought she was still in control and wanted to get rid of me. I bet my eyes that she thought I'd lost my mind. Or that Yorveth was manipulating me. And the North descended deeper into chaos. Exactly. There was just one problem. You. I could have killed you in the elven ruins. Thing is, you weren't really my enemy. Mm. That is very true. So he kind of did, like, even though he's fought against us and try and um, ended up framing us for a murder, he has no qualm with us, really. You failed to slay Henselt. You screwed up with Henselt. Sabrina's curse tore that down. First oh. off, we got holed up in that hideout in the ravines. Then Sheila showed up and started watching Henselt like he was her own ass. By that time, his death was no longer necessary. Fate had smiled Can upon us again. That? I learned of the summit and the efforts to reconstitute the council and conclave. The ideal setting for the mission's grand finale. Hmm. Yennefer and the Wild Hunt. Uh, okay, that just takes us back to that, I guess. Um, yeah. I'm done talking. Let's finish this. Wanna fight? <laughs> Any vodka left in that bottle? <laughs> the swig of peace. Here. Let's drink and then we must fight. Then that we could choose between finding him or not. No, it's been so long since I played the game, so. The Imperial Army is probably crossing the Yoruga as we speak. Yeah. Pure pandemonium will ensue. The North's finished. Time to go south, where the good life awaits. You're a fool, Metho. Both you and your Emperor are forgetting one thing. Misfortune brings people together. Very shortly, the North could be united like never before, thanks to you. But that's just not my concern anymore. I'm not your foe. I never was. Let me walk away and I will. You'll 
you'll ever see me again. Force me to fight, and this time I'll kill you. I don't know, usually I like to walk away. Sometimes I've walked away because I really don't feel like fighting him, and other times I've walked away because I really feel like we don't have any qualm with Letho. And he has guaranteed that we will never see him again. And usually witches stick to their word. But I don't know, I feel like a lot of people are going to be disappointed if I don't at least give it a shot at fighting him. I've actually, I don't think in all the times that I've played that I've ever fought Letho. Or I think I might have tried and I've died. I'll probably end up disappointing a lot of people if I just say, you know what, go somewhere far away. Because <laughs> I'm sure quite a few would like to see the fight that ensues so maybe we try if we die we walk away i really do come to like letho throughout the game like even though after everything he's done i do come to like him for some reason i don't know maybe it's because he's also a witcher i don't know um so it's always difficult for me to be like you know what let me fight him and try kill him i do hate him a lot when we fight in the little enclosed space and then I'm like can you just leave me the fuck alone <laughs> okay well it's time to fight yeah. ready as I'll ever be let's fight I'm sorry I do feel actually I feel dead. Stop. yeah a little bit I'm also gonna do Queen oh god we'll start with that fight. can I also burn you no ha 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 oh my queen Owie. See, I do terrible. I do absolutely terrible against him. Owie! <laughs> Aha! I landed one hit, it barely did anything, and now I got whacked. I can do that too! Um, I don't. I actually do have bombs. Whee! And I missed. I don't know where to hit. Can we block against him? Yeah. That was a very stupid thing for me to do. <laughs> come, come. Come, come, my ladies. You're my sugar pie. Sugar, baby. <laughs> I don't know, I've had a very long day. I'm on some other type of energy right now. We had a long sunny day. It was a nice day though. We had a corporate day at the track. Uh, company surprised the employees for some drift lessons, so it was fun. But I think I'm just, I'm running on exhaust fumes. The car exhaust fumes and exhaustion fumes. No, no, uh, I wasn't watching my health. It's actually very difficult to fight him. I see why I've never chosen to do so. Please. Here, Letho, Letho. Hi. Why, Gerald? Why? You had an opportunity and you missed. <laughs> this kind of pointless flight right now. I can do that too, you know. Whee! Does it actually hit him? Oh, it does, but it only like 89 minus 8. Okay, so I hit him for 81 damage. Again! Haha! The wolf has teeth and the shark. I better. I can tell already. Of course you can. You tire quickly. Yeah. You are right about that. You are better, because I am sucking ass right now. Do you think? Ooh, nice. Okay, 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 okay. Come on, let your shield down. I'm stretching that last bit of health. Absolutely stretching it. Where is he going? Where is he going? I'm here! Hello! How you doing, sir? Oh, my reach is 
absolutely terrible. No! No! Shit! I should actually throw that at him. Oh, that actually regenerated too. I should be doing this when he doesn't. Oh, I missed. I don't want to kill you. I don't want to kill you either. Why did I say I'll fight you? No, I'm not. You're right. That rat is lost. Lost. There he comes. With his little <laughs> his swords is aerial. I know I'm far tossing around more than anything else, but anyways. I feel so bad killing him. Ooh, huh. No. Come on. Maybe we should just do both. We'll kill him and then we'll reload in. Oh. Nice. I've had enough of this dance. So Goodbye, Dude, I am making my last bit of health stretch tremendously. You have no idea how accomplished I feel right now. I do not want to die. Almost there. No. So we'll kill him and then we'll walk. How does that sound? Where is he going? I'm coming this way. Dude, hello. Hello. How you doing? Oh. oh! That actually wasn't that bad. Once I discovered a theme. I don't know if I need to do quick. <laughs> Matrix! You go. Oh, you go, Geralt. You go. Like, <laughs> I don't know why I feel so bad. <laughs> Am I the only person that feels bad for killing Letho? This is why I never actually chose to kill him, because I feel too bad. <laughs> is there something wrong with me that I feel bad for killing him? Sorry. What is that smile, Geralt? What is that look? Hi, Ovi. <sighs> I'm sorry. Oh, that's the door with the eye. The riddle door. cut the audio and then you just hear the footsteps. <laughs> the Witcher had traveled far and wide in search of the Kingslayers. Along the way, he had met both the Righteous and Scoundrels, Bernard Lurido amongst the latter. Lurido sold Flotsam to Kedwin and scattered the local non-humans to the four winds. I actually forgot about Lurido, to be honest. <laughs> 
Flossum Sorry. became a military base. Its civilian population was resettled. Okay. In Edern, the Witcher witnessed Saskia the Dragon Slayer achieve a great victory. The Pontar Valley, previously Upper Edern, became a promised land for outcasts who dared dream of freedom. Even sly old Zoltan Chive came to believe in this land of bliss. Mm -hmm. Yet Zoltan. dark times approached for the architects of the New Order. Mm. As always. Dark clouds have been gathering over Temeria since Voltest's death. Mm. Stripped of its king, the land was like a rich cloth which nobles began to shred. These minor scavengers, however, scurried off in fear when true predators reached out for their prize. The summit at Loch Muin sealed the fate of Foltest's realm, when Radovid of Redania <laughs> and Henselt of Kedwin divided it between them. <coughs> A tempest descended on the north, at least partly the work of manipulative mages. It seemed the turmoil in Temeria, Edern, and Kedwin would benefit them most. Common folk turned against sorceresses and all magic freaks, witchers included. Castles that had hitherto welcomed mavens of the magic arts now shut their gates to any who sought shelter there. A witch hunt ensued. Wasn't that one of the witches that was part of the lodge? It was a time of great uncertainty, of rape accomplished by royal decree. Yet as troubled as the day seemed, we, who had in some way shaped the world's fate, finally received some respite. Dandelion. Zoltan resumed the quest for his beloved's hand, and I laid my head in the laps of the muses. Oh, <gasps> titties. Who could have known this tempest which had ravaged the north was but a harbinger of darker days, and the preamble yeah. to an entirely new tale of Geralt of Rivia. Which hopefully we'll eventually learn of, because... We are officially finished, but I want to now, instead of fighting Letha, walk away because I feel too bad for killing him. <laughs> Don't hate on me. Oh wait, oh, rabbit! Well, it's a hare, actually, not a rabbit, right? Because wild hares are shaped like that. It's not shaped like a rabbit, domestic rabbit. Like my rabbits. He's minding his own business. So cute. Never mind. I need a sneeze. That bridge doesn't seem very trust- like, I wouldn't trust that bridge, to be honest. <sighs> Sorry, I'll stop now. <laughs> yeah, just trample all over it, trample all over it. Circle of life, buddy. Oh, he's alive. Damn it. His supper's gone, though. Do, do. Yeah, buddy, that's your village.
The world as we know it nears its end, yet the past remains the key to the future, which is very, very true. But do we ever learn from our past for the future? No. Go, so be far away. I know. I can feel the memories coming back. Your death won't change a thing. Go where you will. Just like that. No threats. No words of wisdom. No. Are you going or not? <sighs> Farewell, Geralt. You just stay put while I walk away. <laughs> Um, whether you let Letho live or die, uh, you get to the same ending. Nothing changes, except for the fact that Letho is alive or dead, whichever you choose. Again, I didn't know that. I've always, like I said, I've always let Letho live. Um, I had to go back and just let him live. I feel too guilty killing him. I don't know why. I just, I don't know. But it's the end of an era. It's the end of another game. We finally have concluded um, Witcher 2 it feels like it's been ages since we started I think it actually has been it's been quite a few months um, that we've been playing Witcher 2 so we've come far we really have it is a good game I absolutely do love it I do prefer it to number one um, but I mean purely the main reason why I don't like number one is because of the play style that they had they changed it up completely for number two, which was amazing. But number one is just, I didn't, I hated the play style. It was so, like, ugh. <laughs> the story in itself was good. It's just the, the controls and stuff wasn't handled properly. But I do hear that they might be considering a, a remake or a remaster of number one, which would be really cool. But yeah, uh, I love, I absolutely love the audio throughout the entire game, especially the ending credits, uh, well, the ending where they show you everything that happens and stuff. It's just, you know, the audio is so spot on, the graphics are spot on, you know. Everything, like, everything about The Witcher is spot on. I absolutely love The Witcher. Um, funny enough, uh, when The Witcher 3 came out, I told myself, I am not playing Witcher 3 until I have bought myself my own PC. Because I don't want to play it on PlayStation, I want to play it on PC. And I set that goal, um, and I stuck to that goal, so ended up building my own PC, still haven't played Witcher 3. <laughs> and I kind of wish that I did play Witcher 3 before number 2, because when, you know, I found out through memes, not because of researching storylines and stuff, but I found out through memes that Yorveth isn't in number 3, and I was so disappointed, because I absolutely have fallen in love with Yorveth. I can never take Roach's path. Um, I have tried before, but I was just like, Ugh, I, feel, I feel, I can't, I can't do that. So, yeah, so to find out that, you know, through memes nonetheless, that Yorveth is not part of Witcher 3, I feel like I've been done dirty. <laughs> but it makes sense, because with what I can understand, the timeline is before the events of number two. So hopefully, um, I hear they have given the approval for Witcher 4. Um, for the production of Witcher 4, so hopefully that kind of continues on from Witcher 2's story um, So we can kind of see what happens next from here uh, Because I mean Dandelion ends it with there's another tale for Geralt, you know on Onwards now upwards and onwards as usual. I suppose Because I don't I don't I, don't, I know that the wild three literally just contains the wild hunt. That's all I know so maybe number four will based around the fact that he goes and looks for Yennefer after the occurrence of the wild hunt and all that but with what I believe number three kind of revolves around the actual wild hunt of what we they continuously speak about in number two I am jibber jabbing on I'm so sorry but anyways that is Witcher 2 um as always there is a few projects I do want to I need to choose between or what we're going to carry on but I think I know which one because I don't know, I really want to jump into something different for a change. I'd like to pick up Resident Evil again, but I think maybe after the next game we'll pick up a Resident Evil. Um, I'm just dying to hop into the one that is The Witcher. I do thoroughly enjoy this game. I don't play it as often as what I would like to. I really do need to play number three. I will eventually. We will 
will eventually get to number three. Um, it'll be a new playthrough for me because I've never, never, ever played number three. Um, and I've only ever heard really good things about it. So maybe, maybe next year we can look at doing a Witcher 3 playthrough. That would be great. But that is it for this. I am happy to finally conclude this. Um, it was great playing it again. I don't know really how to end this off other than to say the usual. If you like the video, hit the like button below. While you're down there, don't forget to hit subscribe. And don't forget, thank Miss if you would like to donate to an amazing cause and help others towards you know, mental health and ensuring that more people can get helped that need um, the help then the donation link is in the description below and with that I will say that fail